I'm going to give you a quick tour of the Sunto app, and then I'm going to uh, configure some data fields and show you the uh, Sunto Plus uh, mini apps or widgets. So this is our main screen. And I will say that I haven't worn the watch the last couple of days, so some of the numbers are look a little strange. But there's my uh, activity for the month, calendar view. We can click in. Uh, and then we've got my progress. Uh, and you can see uh, by clicking on that, that earlier or in, in July, I was overdoing it a bit. And that in part had to do with the very humid weather as well. Um, so now we can come back. And then we've also got uh, 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 heart rate data uh, and steps and calories and so on and so forth. So if we scroll down, this is uh, my last activity recorded on the watch. Beautiful run out to Newcastle, New Hampshire. Of course, you can add pictures and share. Um, but here's some of the data that we get. Uh, very, very um, copious amounts of data here. Uh, all kinds of metrics you can analyze and that get analyzed of course in your um when you do your um when, when it gives you your summaries um uh noting here that uh, we're at a uh, you see the five uh the heart rate zone i think the watch wasn't quite as tight on my wrist as i uh should have had it you got to keep this watch real tight the vertical um and also it was raining very hard so let's uh change something here let's look at um altitude not much on this on this run very low at sea level uh okay so uh then now let's go configure some um some uh, data fields uh on the watch and the widgets so um we're going to go into sports mode customization what it does is it it uh, syncs with the watch to bring in the updated list any changes i made directly on the watch uh, but you basically have to configure via the app as far as your fields it isn't done um it can't be done on the watch as you would say with Garmin. So here, now it's bringing up uh, the running mode. I have four fields. Let's change that to three fields. And you've got all kinds of choices here of formats um, that you can choose as the screen as you wish. Wish, so let's change it to three. Now we're at three. Um, let's um, change uh, let that lap max pace to something else uh, and I'm going to show you the whole list here it's extensive all kinds of metrics you can add to each and every screen as you wish I generally focus on average pace distance uh, or time and um, heart rate um, but let's say we wanted to do uh, we're going to go to the bottom here we're going to add something uh, let's add uh, lap well let's add ascent okay so we've added ascent so we've got ascent heart rate and average pace um, so as soon as you're done you click save and it will sync to my watch the syncing has been very very consistent here so after it updates the list we're going to go uh, in there's many many sport modes with kind of pre-configured screens that are appropriate for each and every activity I just run and hike. Uh, so now let's look at the, the and we're going to go in there. Now these are configured. Um, it, once they're installed, they're on your watch, but you actually turn them on and off as you wish for each activity, uh, at each sport mode. Um, so for example, if you wanted weather on your trail run, you would uh, go in as you, just before you start um, the, the activity, uh, go to the Sunto Plus apps kind of tab on the watch, turn it on. So once they're turned on or off, they stay that way for each sport mode until you are, until you want to change them. So now we're going to go back. And that was a brief tour of our Sunto app. Uh, and I'm using it with the Sunto vertical these days. Thanks for watching.